Hello there, welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will learn how to use Alamo Fire to get data from API and then we will use JSON decoder to fetch results, okay? Alamo Fire is a pod, so we will be using CocaPods for this tutorial. So if you are not familiar with CocaPods or terminal commands, then you should watch a video on those topics first, okay? I highly recommend you do that. So as always, I will be using Countries API. I have it here and I will paste the link in the description. And uh, so we will be fetching name of the country and capital as always. So, and here is the Alamo Fire like GitHub page. I'll put this link as well in the description. So we will be using this part. So just copy this. So I copied it already. And uh, I already have a project ready. It's named Alamo Fire Test. Uh, make sure you don't name your project Alamo Fire because it might collide with the module name. So I'll first pop up my terminal. Just do a couple of ls. Okay, I know what. I'll just cd into my folder. You cd into your project folder. Once you cd, if you do ls, there will be two files. Okay, so now you do pod in it. Once again, guys, you need Coca Pods to move further. So if you like, if you want to check you have it or not, just do pod dash dash version. So bam, this is my version. If you don't have, you will see nothing. So anyways, I'll do pod in it. Once again, let's do ls two files pod in it. Okay, pod is initialized ls. Now we have three files. Okay, we will open pod file. Uh, my keyboard okay here we have it so just before and hit the tab and paste what we just copied okay earlier from that github account if you remember again uh, this uh, this link to this github account will be in the description make sure you okay this is my like uh, wrong tab so will we use this part where it says to integrate alamo file into your xcode Let's do one thing. I will put this whole line in the description. So it will be a lot easier. Anyways, so we have it over there. Uh, I guess just let's uh, see if it's there or not. So cat pod file and we can see everything. So it's here. So let's just clear this mess out and say pod update. So there is a thing with pod. Uh, once you install some pod, we don't use this normal uh, Xcode, uh, the normal I, uh, XC project thing. We will be using a workspace. So make sure you exit Xcode completely. So there should be no white dot. Okay. That means you exit it completely. So now we have it. Uh, now we updated our pod and there must be, let's say, four, five files. I don't know. Anyways, here we have our pod file. Here we have our pods. That's a folder, Alamo Fire Test. This is a project folder. This is Xcode project. Uh, we don't use this. Uh, uh, normally, we use this file to open up our Xcode project, but now onwards, we will be using this. So rather than going and searching for this file, just say open Alamo Fire name of your file dot xcw and just hit tab and hit enter. And, and let Xcode do its magic. Okay, so I'll just change this to iPhone X and uh, Okay, we have it here. So just let's quickly build the application. So Let's see if it works or not. Okay um, Whenever you add a pod to your project always make sure you build the application first. Okay, so here we have it. So let's hop over to our view controller and let's try to import Alamo Fire. Okay, import Alamo Fire and bam, it's there. So let's get rid of this code. Let's get the URL. And this URL will again be in the description. So just copy this, copy, and I'll just paste it over here. Let's say let URL is equal to URL, open parentheses, and it will be string. Uh, double quotes and paste bam it's here and now uh, it's just a one line code to uh, fetch the result okay so it's alamo fire I I don't know autocomplete does not work for this thing so I'll just type it 
request and we need this one URL so just pass in a URL with exclamation mark and we will just say dot response JSON with completion handler okay the first one hit enter hit enter again and data response will be response response okay and now uh, let's fetch the response like let's see it worked or not so let result is equal to response okay response dot uh, let's say result okay and let's run this part oh oh okay I actually forgot to print it out I should probably do that so I'll just print it out and say result that's it bam 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 let's hope it works here we have our console and you can see it's a success okay now you now as I promised I will be using a JSON decoder to fetch the data so it's a much simpler way which just came in with Xcode 9 and Swift 4 so let's create a class country see guys I'm doing it here but you should create a new file and uh, a new file for every class okay so I'm just doing it for convenience and uh, country and this class will abide to the protocol decodable okay decodable open brackets bam okay there is something uh, you should make sure that okay this is my YouTube account okay here uh, make sure uh, your elements of the class are same named okay so for country we, we cannot use variable country we have to use uh, variable name okay and for capital it's capital and one more thing I just realized it's supposed to be a structure not class so it will be struct okay I why do why do you autocomplete okay so it's struct country and decodable okay so let name be string let capital string um let's let's make the mistake okay let's do country okay and as always you know when there are multiple uh, data entries uh, we need to create an array so let's say array countries equal to array of country and open close parentheses okay so we have our result and first of all okay we don't need to print this so let's get rid of this I'll just do multiple enters and let's get started so for we always like uh, fetch data into this countries like into our array okay uh, using JSON decoder so we will say self dot countries equal to JSON decoder we want decoder not encoder open close parentheses dot and we will be using this decode and if you recall I press decode and this this function throws okay so we need to do this part in do statement so I'll hit enter and create a do open brackets tab over here okay I'll just complete the brackets no I did wrong okay now it worked and I cannot hit tab right now just because I need to pass in values here but this one will be uh, like square brackets country this is our structure dot self and data so if you click alter I guess just hit enter and if you alter click this you will see we need to pass in a data okay and this this result is in form of result and any it's like it's an array okay so to get the data what you need to do is response dot data and this is data as you can see okay and now if you click on result you will see it's data so just pass in result here so result and exclamation mark and now we can tab this inside and we need a catch statement so let's uh, print and error so let's run this application okay what happened man call can throw okay okay bro okay I know I just forgot okay bam this should work now oh what's the matter okay oh we don't say throw we say try my bad my bad 
so the application is loading we should probably see error okay we are seeing error because we messed up the name okay we need to put a name over here once again guys you need to match your field name with this like this keys okay so now if I do name and run the application I will see nothing because I I don't print out anything but it worked okay so there is no error that's a good news so let's print our data out so after do statement uh, like after this country's thing is done say for country in countries uh, we should do self dot countries and print uh, let's say country dot name comma double colon let's do colon comma country dot capital and let's run the application so that's how you use json decoder uh, with alamo fire basically the logic is same once you get something uh, you can just like combine the pieces okay so here we have everything let's try to find new delhi and uh, new delhi new delhi i don't know where it's i i just saw it somewhere oh no country is supposed to be india so let's see okay it's here so yeah there is each and every country believe me i use this api a lot so like if you still doubt me just go to my channel and check it out okay i love this api so anyways guys if you have like any question throw them in comments i'll try to reply as soon as possible if you like my video don't forget to thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos